Hey, what's up, family? Hey, today we're going to do a video, and we're going to base this on another one on relationships, but particularly we're going to name this one Factors of a Good Mate. And what I mean by that is knowing when you actually have a good mate, what do you do, what do your spouse, girlfriend, husband, wife does that make you realize I got the right one? Well, the responsibility as your part yeah. and my part. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Great thing. Mm -hmm. Because the responsibilities of what you are doing for each other, it, it lets the other one know when someone truly got your back. Not, And that means through all the goods and the ups and downs. If a person is only in your life when things are good, but when things get tough, they, they, they find it hard to cope with and they can't, they want to just run. See, that's not the good mate. You want that mate that's there for you through thick and thin. And, yep. You know, like they say, through health and good times, bad times, they said in health and sickness and health or whatever, that's what you want in a mate. You know, uh, or like it says, you know, you want to mate, like for example, let's say like the alpha male. He's supposed to be able to provide, protect, influence, encourage, educate. See, th those are all the values I know you as my wife, you look at and you see how I encourage all that amongst us, amongst our kids. And you you know, those are things that make you look at me, I, I would assume, and look at me as a natural aphrodisiac. Now, I yeah. know I love to throw a word out there to y'all. Aphrodisiac is just a big word for saying uh, something that stimulates you. Now, if you actually looked up the word, it would say food, drug, drink. or alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, food, drug, or drink that that uh, sexually stimulates a desire in a person. Mm -hmm. But it don't always have to be sexually. You know, it just could be something that really stimulates a person. And I know everyone out there, if you got a mate that does everything to stimulate your family, stimulate your relationship, those are natural aphrodisiacs to make the other person go, man, I got the right one. This person, you know, I, every time I look upon this person's face, I'm happy. You know, when I, I, I look forward to coming home from work to look and be with you. That's you know? right. That's be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but mostly important is you, as me as a wife, to actually know what I have in my life. I actually let, allow them to lead, mm -hmm. to take control over any type of situation. Because I know that with him, and he's the top the, the alpha. alpha. Right. See, the now alpha that's the old alpha. school values right there. Yes. That you got like from yes. your mom. Yes, because so, that's... that's take my hat off to your mom. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. But the thing is that the most important thing is that uh, whatever my mother, I've seen her do throughout her life as a, as a, um, as a wife, as a woman, uh, um, has all these old-fashioned ways. I think it, it is a positive thing, and yeah. I actually... Just picked up on everything, mm -hmm. everything and, on it, and just allowed to have this in a relationship. Exactly. And then the other thing, I know it, it inspires you to see, like when a, when a, when the man is doing his job, such as I give you some simple, like you go out to the mill and you check the mill, you looking at the electric bill, the gas bill, whatever, and you you look at it, it, it don't never say uh, shut off notice. No. Instead, you see, wow, my husband, it's a credit on all those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the mortgage is paid. Everything is done accordingly the way uh, a spouse is supposed to do stuff. And uh, well, you want to add something to that? Well, the thing is that I don't have to worry about knocking at somebody's door and trying to ask for a load of piece of slice of bread or anything. Or my daughters, they need something from someone else because everything that mm -hmm. you have, you take the responsibility. Mm -hmm. And that's why, they, like they said, it's a two-way street, not a one-way street. So like obviously, that. I know that I have a good man. So mm -hmm. I'm able to work with him and be with him, making sure that I never lose you and I yeah. take care of you. <laughs> responsibility. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I like that, like you said, a two-way street. Yeah. Because another thing what couples do, they I make the mistake of old school stuff where they would say, that's a woman's job. Or that's a man's no. job. See, we don't do those things. I I don't say or to my I wife. I don't need a man. Oh, I can't stand that. You know, I can't stand what women say. No, but but I'm gonna get to that because it's it's what's going on in the house, you know, and it's particularly urban areas. What's going on or what's not going on in the house that needs to be going on. Mm -hmm. But the the man thing, the woman thing that I don't like. Like a lot of people there say, uh, oh, it's a woman's job to cook, to clean, 
And that's come on, that's no, not true. Oh, let me get to my point. Like oh, but you got some women that go, yeah. oh, that's a man's job to take out the garbage, to fix stuff, this and that. There's plenty of times you take out the garbage, or, or they'll take out the garbage. Yeah. There's plenty of times I cook. Y'all gotta remember, there was a time she couldn't cook at all. <laughs> this joker couldn't cook at all. I had to teach this joker how to cook. <laughs> this joker was making. So oh, sorry. That's how you can got it. We got it. this. <laughs> there was a time she was making rubber chicken. Like, it was, matter of fact, it was like called Everlasting Chicken. Okay, he wants to throw me under I the just, bus. It would never go down. He wants to throw me under the bus. Yo. He's great one. He's always had criticism. He always exactly. has something to say. So that's the problem. But yeah, okay. no, nah, it's, never, it's, it's never a thing of that's a man's job, that's a woman's job. Mm -hmm. It's just a thing of working together and each one teach one. You help build the other one up, rather good or bad. It you feels never break great. down your partner. Yes. Okay, he's gonna say something. Well, this topic uh, reminds me of what I told you the other day. We were in the gym, remember? And then yeah. I told you, I was like, I see the way that mommy <laughs> treats you. And I said, that kind of behavior is only deserving of a man that deserves that kind of behavior. Oh like, God. you know how all men expect women to do these things, expect them to clean and cook and cater to and all these type of ways. Yeah. It show you all this unconditional love, but do you deserve it is a question. What? Not every man does. That's what I'm saying. Most men think that they already are entitled. That they're entitled to, to it. Don't take yes. my word, I just yeah. said that. I feel like every man thinks that they are entitled to it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, reward. We yeah. have to actually work for it. Just like it goes for women too. Yo, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. It goes, it goes for women Yo, too. Sorry. Like, yeah. We're good. Okay. Not well. We're good. Are we all the same? Yeah. <laughs> most women. <laughs> it's like it goes for women too. I would say, like most women think a man is supposed to have this big fancy car, the biggest bank account, but you have nothing to help your man build mm -hmm. up that. A, yeah. a woman's supposed to provide too, not just yes. a pretty face. As I said, they both. Yeah, both. So I, it yo, has you're to right. Be if, mutual. It has to be mutual. Mm -hmm. If all you got is a pretty face, and I've always felt like that, if all you got is a pretty face, rather a guy or a woman, then you ain't got much to stand on because that pretty face is not going to pay those bills unless you're going out on the corner and when you want to get go down that road. Yeah. So you got to have more than just a pretty face because then you devaluing yourself. If that's all you got to offer is a pretty face, that is. That is very, you're devaluing, devalu, devaluing yourself. <laughs> but another thing that I like to add to uh, knowing that you got the right spouse is that it, it even trickles down to your kids. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and what I mean by that, it's like a lot of kids don't have the privilege of seeing their parents interact with one another. You know, uh, seeing a lot of kids don't get the privilege to see how their mother uh interacts with their father when there's an issue, when there's a problem, how they how they work a problem out, how they fix the problem. Because, you know, there's times when there's uh, turbulence, but it's like kids need to see how my mother was able to deal with my father when my father was tripping or my father might have been wrong or right and then she straightened him out or vice versa. Yeah. You know, because when kids see that, then this, this, is a, uh, this is a perfect example of what, they will be inspired to look forward to, opposed to just going out here like a lot of these girls and just get with any old guy for any old reason. And then now they become a statistic. You don't want to become a t statistic. You yes. know, look for values in a person before you just looking for a pretty face because you will regret that down the line. Well, you have to also look at what, like for example, your spouse, if it has more positive or has more negative. Mm -hmm. And then you take it from there. I believe that that's mm -hmm. how it works. Mm -hmm. But you know that if you, if your man or your wife has a lot of positive uh, ways, then you know you try to you do your you do your best to hold on to what you got. Just Absolutely. don't be so quick to just um, well, decide that, that you want to get your bags and quit. I always say that yeah. it warrants a mature, healthy conversation mm -hmm. whenever there's turbulence in a relationship. A healthy conversation you don't just pick up and i'm out mm -hmm. stop looking at these silly shows like love and hip-hop and all that it, it is not there to benefit you all these negative shows out there it is to turn the families against each other it is to promote ratings upon negativity with all this nonsense you know so and we don't put negative videos out we put all positive okay. videos out so in closing we're gonna finish the video in closing what i was well i'll let you go first what'd you say in closing i'm sorry 
when close and just um, be able to uh, understand each other, communicate with each other. And um, if you feel as if your spouse is just not doing something that you don't agree, it's always good to communicate. Like I said, just sit down and talk it out. Uh -huh. Sometimes in most cases, when you be surprised how you find out a lot of things that is, can't be your way, but uh -huh. it can all be on the other side. Uh -huh. Like we ain't always right. No, so in closing, what I would say is be careful how you pick your mate. Be smart at how you pick your mate. Because another very valuable thing I always tell my daughters is that the person you choose to lay down and have a kid with is a game changer. Yeah. It's for a the game good changer. Or the bad. It's a game changer for good <laughs> or bad. Now that's determined on what did you choose the wrong person for all the wrong reasons and now you with this person and now you're in and out of court for domestic abuse. You know, your kid is being raised without a kid because you didn't choose the right one. Or it's a game changer in a good way where you chose the right person to have a kid by. And guess what? You, are, you guys are raising a family together the way a family should be, the way a family used to be way back in the days, which things that I respect. So that's what I would say in closing. Be careful of who you choose and be smart at how you choose that person. You guys got anything to say? Um, all I would say is thank you guys for being good role models of what uh, a happy family should be and what they should look like. And um, yeah, what a father and, and you got both of you guys like mommy. Is supposed to be in mommy does a good job of what a wife yeah. is supposed to do and how she's supposed to act and how she's supposed to love. And Flatter. you do a good job with protect, protecting and providing and how our husband is supposed to be. You're supposed to our be. Husband, <laughs> our husband. Our man. Our man. <laughs> Yo, we got a celebrity in the house. We got Jarvis over here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.